Okay, the essay I'm going to discuss with you guys in a few moments has two central themes today. The two central themes are number one, lexical resources. And most students do not have a clear idea of what exactly is the meaning of lexical resources. Uh, we usually think that this is vocabulary, but it's not. It's not synonyms. It's not antonyms. It's it's clear expression of your idea. So central to lexical resources is the clear expression of your ideas. And the essay I'm going to discuss in a few moments will have ample of examples about lexical resources, how the student lacked clear expression, an appropriate expression. Um, moreover, it's, it's more related to subject-related vocabulary. The subject-related vocabulary. Okay, so it's, it's not just vocabulary. You're not supposed to just cram the words and uh, use them in whatever way possible. You have to understand their use and relate it to this subject, the context. The second is more related to lexical resources, but also related to ideas, is the development of arguments. Most students fail in developing arguments. They are good in mentioning the ideas, but you need to explain the ideas. So arguments means that you have mentioned the ideas but then you explain ideas in a specific manner again it's not a journal way in a specific or another another word is in a precise way how exactly did you do you do that and that requires number one a I should say um, clear ideas you should have a clear idea in your mind and B write lexical resources this one so lexical resources is not only about uh, using the right words but also it's about the clear development of arguments okay so this is the essay let me change the color here this is the essay and let us discuss it um, the student begins with in the present world of changing times so in the present world present itself is time so this is um, you know, you're not using the lexical resource correctly. You need appropriate words in a rapidly changing world. And when you say it's a rapidly changing world, it's a collocation. And the student very well continues. The universities have played an instrumental role. Now, this is really good. Instrumental role is a collocation, and that means an important role. Um, what's unclear is, to my view, people opt for further education. Now, what do you mean by further education? To understand lexical resources at this moment, I'm not presenting the question, I'm just giving the context in which the student has written. So further education, what do you mean by it? Is it an education after grade 10 or it's an education after grade 12? You know, further education can be related to anything. So it doesn't mean college or university education. Now, um, moving to the next word here, it's the student writes, develop new skills and grow personality. Now, uh, you do not grow personality, you develop personality. So the change, change the word here. Instead of develop, write, learn new skills. Now, it's important to note that these all are lexical resource mistakes. So rapidly changing, you need to reuse the right words to express your idea. Further education. Now, when something is vague, it's not specific or clear, that's a lexical resource issue. So you should have directly written college or university. Uh, grow personality. Now, there are some words that naturally come with each other. So, personality comes with develop. And new skills, you learn new skills. Now, lexical resource, since it means that it's the right word, the appropriate word, this first sentence of the body paragraph is incorrect. It says, it is, no, it is a known fact that getting extra knowledge has never been harmful. The question is not about harmful. The question is about the benefit of higher education. So there's a lot of difference between beneficial and not harmful. And the, the, the incorrect use of word will, will um, hamper your score and it has changed the sense of what exactly you want to say. Um, the student has also not clearly explained the idea which I have done over here. Those of who, you who are interested, just go through this and you will understand that how the student has not developed the idea. So you need to be very specific in development of idea, precise things. But let's move to the next word. Moreover, the employees can only expect a high-ranked 
job if they have brushed their knowledge. Now, simply brushing your knowledge means you're revising the concepts. You are not learning them. You have already learned them. So that's not the right word. Again, a lexical resource issue. You're not expressing the ideas clearly. High rank job. So high rank job doesn't mean anything. Do you, do you mean high status? So it's better to write things which are very clear. A job with adequate remuneration. Remuneration means money. The things you get in exchange for, for doing a job. So uh, adequate remuneration. So if people want adequate remuneration, they need university or college education. So that's exactly what you need to write clearly. While attempting extensively difficult examination. Extensively means that something is thinly spread over a large surface. So that's called extensive. Intensive means that something is deeply spread over a small surface. Now here you do not need either extensive or exten intensive. So the examinations are extremely difficult. Okay. Here also that this sentence is vague and not clear. So that also needs better specific response with better lexical resources, which I've done over here. I hope it helps. Now, though you can see, this is this is the second page of the answer. Though you can see that there is a parallelism mistake, and I don't think I need to explain it. I have amply explained it in the previous essays, a lot on my website as well as on, on my YouTube channel. Um, this goes through the article on my website, the rules of parallelism the rules of parallelism and this will be very clear how this is wrong okay so I don't I'm not planning to explain that having said that and the idea here is that the students need to develop people need to develop new skills and you know they need to have some different experiences and colleges help them in this process um, but the student goes on to write, mention the idea as new skills, but explains desires. Now, this is a disconnect. The idea is about new skills, but the explanation is about desires. And this disconnect needs to be removed. So the first sentence here, the second sentence after the idea, should have been people need marketable skills to pursue such desires. So what is marketable skills? The new skills. So there's an indirect reference to the idea and that somehow connects marketable skills with desires and connects idea with explanation. So there were numerous things that were not clear and there were some things which are still not clear. For example, student writes hands to enjoy every bits and pieces of life. What do you mean by bits and pieces of life? Uh, it's better to use the right word. It's not bits and pieces. It's to enjoy every moment of life. So moment is very clear. It's, it's a fraction of time. Um, and I strongly suggest not to use idioms since they are not your words. The examination is about you. It's not about someone else's words that you have crammed up. So it's better to write formal English, communicable English in your own language. Okay, so this was my take on this answer. I hope it was useful and you all Everyone loved it and uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Give comments in the comments box below. If you have any question, uh, you can either write it in the comments box below this YouTube video, visit my website or contact me on my WhatsApp number. Thank you for watching.